The base of the metapel is made up of three parts, the main base or stand, the cylinder base, and the ramp or tray where the pills are collected after they are dispensed. The three pieces are assembled and secured with nuts and bolts. The cylinder base has a unique design that matches the bottom of the cylinders to ensure that the cylinders are secured and in the correct orientation while the pills are being dispensed. The ramp was designed with a shelf behind it to hold the Arduino. The motors are secured to the cylinder base with nuts and bolts. After they are secured, the cylinder gear slides onto each motor shaft. So we wanted to make the cylinders removable from the base. This allows the user to more easily load or unload their pills if necessary and it also allows them to wash the cylinder more easily whenever they desire. In order to make the cylinders removable, we needed a way to transfer the rotation of the motors in the base to the discs in the cylinder. We accomplished this by adding gears to the bottom of the cylinder and to the base. The gears were designed to mesh very easily, even if they were not perfectly lined up every time the user places the cylinder onto the base. As well as making the cylinders removable, we also wanted them to be identical, while still having the ability to dispense any size or shape of pill. We accomplished this by designing the cylinders to accommodate different modular pieces, depending on the shape and size of the pill that needs to be dispensed. These pieces include a rotating disc, an agitator piece, and sweeper arm. A great deal of testing while designing these final pieces ensure that they work perfectly with the three different shapes and sizes of pills. The rotating discs are all of different thicknesses depending on the length or height of the pill they are designed to dispense. This prevents the pills from getting caught by the sweeper arm as they are being rotated. Each rotating disc also has a unique slot in them to fit the shape and size of the pill they dispense. The agitator piece ensures there is movement of the pills in the cylinder and prevents bunching of pills that may prevent a pill from falling into the slot in the rotating disc. The sweeper arm rests above the hole in the bottom of the cylinder and ensures that only one pill is dispensed when the slot in the rotating disc lines up with the hole in the cylinder. The inner pieces of the cylinder can be easily swapped out by the user. The rotating disc has a threaded hole and the cylinder gear has a threaded rod. The rotating disc is placed into the cylinder and the cylinder gear is secured. This allows the rotation from the cylinder gear to be transferred to the rotating disc. Next, the sweeper arm slides in and is secured with a screw and nut. Then the agitator piece gets added to the rotating disc. So as the inside rotator is rotated, a single pill drops into the hole in the rotator. And once the hole in the rotator lines up with the hole at the bottom of the cylinder, the single pill is dispensed. Once everything is set up, the Metapel is very simple for the user to use. First, they take their medication, pour it into the to the correct cylinder. They then load each cylinder onto the device. Once they have done this, they can go into the app and input the correct dosage of medication they need and at what time they need the medication. For our example, our user needs one Tic Tac, three Myconites, and two Round Candies. And then at this time that the user inputted, the Metapal will dispense their medication.
the automated dispensing of the Medipal is controlled by a stepper motor. We have three stepper motors, one for each medication container. And the stepper motor we chose is a 28 BYJ stepper motor. It's a very common, very affordable stepper motor. Uh, it's regulated to 5 volts. It provides us almost 40 micro-newton meters of torque, which is more than enough for what we need. Um, and it also has a step angle of 5.6 degrees over 64, which means we can divide a single rotation into over 4,000 steps, which means we've got very high accuracy and we don't need to worry about adding or subtracting on a, on a revolution and causing over dispensing or under dispensing. This is the data sheet of the 28 BYJ stepper motors. Now if we flip the Metapal over, we can get a better look at the electronics. These are obviously all fastened up and contained now. Uh, we kept it loose for this part of the presentation just to be able to better show the electronics. These here are the stepper motors. Those are ran through a UN2003 uh, driving integrated circuit, which is uh, just a simple H-bridge design that helps regulate the power. The power itself comes from this Arduino Nano, uh, which has an AT Mega 328 chip. Since the motors are already regulated for 5 volts, the microcontroller itself can provide the power, so we don't need additional power supply, which helps us cut down on space. A couple other design choices that really allow us to optimize our space as well as power consumption. Here is a simple circuit diagram illustrating the Metapal. Um, as you can see, controlling the three stepper motors using the ULN drivers requires four digital pins each uh, for a total of 12. The nano control board has a total 12 digital pins and so we're not wasting space with unused pins. Also as mentioned earlier, the ground and the 5 volt power can both be supplied by the microcontroller. If I show the PCB, it really illustrates how compact a design the controller along with the motor drivers takes up. On the software side of Metapal, all of the code is written in C++, so it's very quick. Uh, it's then compiled into Arduino compatible code using a development tool called Platform IO, which just makes interfacing with the control board very convenient. Um, the total memory usage of the microcontroller is between 60 and 70 percent, which uh, sounds high, but it's pretty optimal usage, and the total RAM uh, usage never exceeds 50%, and so we've got excess processing power to make sure that there's never um, any crashing or mishandled functions. The actual communication is handled with a finite state machine approach, which provides us a lot of flexibility, as well as very robust code, and so uh, it really helps mitigate the risk of misinterpreting a command or providing the wrong output given user input. So we also have a mobile application. It provides all of the same functionality as the computer version does. Uh, it connects via Bluetooth to the computer connected to the Metapal and then the computer forwards on any commands received to the Metapal system. Originally we had hoped to add Bluetooth functionality directly on the Metapal but uh, given the current circumstances we weren't able to buy and install it in time. Um, so it still needs a computer connection in between, but given more time, I believe we could have installed Bluetooth on the Metapol as well and had the app connect directly to it. So here's the mobile application. It's called Medipal. And once you open it up, you have your four main functions, same as the computer version, dispense, add, change, or check. Let's check. Okay, so once you're in here, you can see all three of your motors. Uh, or your medical containers displayed by layout. Let's check medication one. Okay, so now on medication one, it shows that it's dispensing two pills at 8 a.m. for at 8 p.m. and there is a remaining quantity of 42. The Metapel was designed with the intention of optimizing the user's experience and safety by ensuring they take the right medication at the right time. Its modular design also allows for easy production and assembly.